Alright, what is going on everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Black Desert. So, uh, this is going to be a short session today. I was pretty busy. And yeah, we are starting up in the middle of the night. So, first of all, before we forget to do it, let's uh, go to our favorite Blackstone vendor, aka the Night Vendor. And we'll see what we can get. Hopefully, if we're actually lucky, the one thing I really want right now is just pretty much any boss gear at this point. Uh, hold on, before we do that, let me... I'm probably going to forget if I do this. Speaking of this, tomorrow we are actually going to complete our first very own Aferia boat. And there's 10 left, so unfortunately, at very minimum, it would take probably 3 hours and I'll probably be asleep by then. So, we'll do it tomorrow for tomorrow's video. We'll explore the ocean, just unlock nodes. Um, that's probably going to take another hour just to unlock everything. But for today, we got found me. the Blackstone Bender and idol? we got a Blackstone Armor. Excellent. Alrighty. Actually, let me see. Is there... Do all my characters have... Uh, no. None of my characters had that much energy left, so that's okay. There's also another thing. So today, and we're going to be pretty much just doing scrolls. We had another thingy. I'm waiting for my next uh, coin set so I can just get another one. I don't know why they give you 10 and it requires 30. Why don't you just give me one coin? So pretty much this box gives you something pretty good so you get if you want to pause the screen you can just um look at what it gives you so essentially the worst thing you can get is some sort of sh like magic crystal that is worthless or a crone stone but i think those might be good in the future so i just kind of saved mine ever since the start lucky number today will be 17 i know all of this is pretty much just tinfoil RNG and it doesn't really actually matter, but just for the sake of fun. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that right now on the market, uh, these ancient weapon cores are like 4.6 mil. Um, you pretty much won't be selling it for that much. So the best thing you can do is probably just melted down for a guaranteed shard and you could sell it for one more but i value the shard a little bit more than the one million silver and you'll thank me one day when you're trying to upgrade all your weapons so let's this see is a legal business permitted by the head of the League of what Legends. i've actually been doing is me? i put this on the seals if they go below like five mil i kind of just buy them and uh weapon core that one's 3.9 mil. This person, whoever's selling it, oh my god, clearly does not know that you can melt them for sharps. And this is pretty much the same price as a sharp crystal. So, oh god, my headset, it just feels wonky today. I want to get it, I want to get it. You pretty much just melt it like I did. You successfully purchased the item. Melt another one down and get a guaranteed shard. Actually quite a bit of stuff we got. And then we get like gold crystals that don't sell, but <laughs> it's whatever. The pure silver thing, I feel like I'll use it eventually but I don't know what it does or like what to use it for. If you have a lot of stuff, leave it with me. <laughs> and then after that, I kind of just Within dumped the life, shards in here until close. I actually need it. These are probably, I'm going to use them eventually. They're going to be used mostly for um, either boss gear, upgrading that to try, or these are probably going to be for tet attempts. And I'm not really looking forward to tet attempts and just bombing my gear, which uh, I'm not really excited, but it's fine. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, what do we do now? Let's go do some boss scrolls. The weekly actually did reset. It's Wednesday as of today. And, yeah. So I think the event is still going on where the sharps, hards, and uh, blackstone crystals are have a higher drop rate. I've been waking up every morning and just dumping my energy. If you leave your game on overnight, usually it'll fill up if you're under like 250 energy-ish, depending on how long you like sleep. So for me, like eight hours-ish is enough to get it almost full. And one day I kind of wish they have another blessing of Camasil event again where we just get it to seven days or something. And that one increases your energy uh, more. So pretty much the reason why I picked the Gaiath one is mostly because it's just close by. There's no real reason. Other than, you could technically get the Gaiath Helm, but the drop rate is so low, even though I have a guild member who has gotten one. And it is from a normal scroll as well, so technically it is possible, but me getting one is like a miracle of itself. I need to upgrade all my armor to try, but I was like, I was thinking, should I just keep everything on duo and wait till I get boss gear or upgrade like random pieces to uh, try? My God. I usually wouldn't be able to one combo that at 57, and then at level 58, the damage just went up so much. It's actually pretty crazy. Uh... Alright, so I got a crystal that's worthless. Uh, Hunter seals. Where is Dim Tree? Is it Dim Tree to sit at the same spot like it would normally be? Oh no, that's actually out in the middle of nowhere. All right then, so let's go to uh, Western Guard Camp and turn these in. That's probably what's taking up quite a bit of my inventory and I need to get that gone. I was doing some uh, Awaken scrolls. The ones like when you, okay, so if you play this game, you would know every day you get a scroll if you want to do the normal one, or you can collect three pieces to get an awakened one. And that one is like a stronger version. The rewards itself are, the awakened just gives you a lot more hunter seals and occasionally blackstone armors, while the regular one just gives you less of it, but you get a guaranteed school of the day. So essentially it equals out, but um, I think the awakened one just gives you slightly more hunter seals overall. So if you're trying to make money, then go Awakened. If you're trying to get a boss armor piece, then the normal one is better. That's just from my personal experience, or what I would tell you. All right, so we're going to the Western Guard Camp. I think I have more stuff. Is that, did someone just, are those bandits or something? Like people who have trade items, you get attacked. Oh hell, it is really strong. Hold on. Hey, I'm just gonna use focus. the storage maids because I have quite a you, bit it's of all them. Over. Control it! Don't let it move! Don't be afraid! It's bound up tight! That moment when you're using a storage maid oh, to take hell. out it is one really strong! Oh actually no we don't. We have a little uh, extra. Hold on! Tight! Focus! If it starts pulling you, it's all over! Control it! Don't let right, it so move! So how much did we make? We have... That was like 1.1 million worth oh, of stuff. Right, it is so. really strong! All that was pretty much just from Awakened Scrolls, so... Free money. Now we shall go all the way down here, do the weekly dim tree, 
And if I got a dim tree armor off of this, I would be actually super excited. But I think the drop rate is significantly lower and actually dim tree's armor drop is so low even on the real boss that spawns out in the world for everybody like every x number of hours the drop rate they need to look into that or if it was an intentional lower drop rate that's pretty bad i might have to use my shikadu seals eventually in like a few months when i collect 50 of them we need to guarantee the dim tree or I heard people are setting really high pre-orders for a plus zero because Dim Tree is best in slot. And then every other boss gear like Begs, Muskins, Gaieth are something you get whenever you get. It's not really like priority, I guess you can say, but Dim Tree is best in slot. It's been so long since I traveled through this area. I remember when I did it for a story quest. Now we're at the what we call end game, but I am far from it. In this game, like a lot of people ask me, how should I play this or how should I go about starting? And pretty much, if you've ever played another MMO, you forget everything you learned in those MMOs and you start over with this one. In a way, yeah, there's still the same things like build a character, gear up, and all that stuff, but PvP is your end game. Getting the best items you possibly can is another end game goal, I guess you can say. Coin. Now we can get another box. Another, like, Shikadu seal. Or oh, not seal, but like those ancient weapon necklaces or belt. AKA free hard shard. I wonder if anyone's actually gotten those res that resplendent um, gem, the one that's like worth one billion. And like, I think that's a lower drop rate than getting a pen item. One is the one I kill. Let me see if I can one combo this. Or I could just get smacked in the face like that. Alright, so we can make our way to Olvia and do those dailies. Uh, do I even have a... I do. Okay. I remember the first time I saw this, I was like, what do I even do with those? And it's just like, oh, you open it, get stuff. Good. By the way, just in case you don't already do this, uh, follow me on Twitch. Link's in the description. It's pretty much where I live stream and you guys can answer it or like ask me questions, help me play this as well. I still learn something new every day when I play this game. It's always fun. And I actually am uh, testing a new setting on here, so let me know how the audio is because I, or audio and video quality actually, because I've been testing a few new changes. So does it look better? Does it work worse? so dumb I was like 
Every time I horse drift, I was like, why is this even in the game? But you know how they can fix it? Add a cooldown, but make your sprint longer so I don't have to do this. You know, I've never been to that Termian area after the event was gone, so I kind of do want to check it out. Because when I first started the game, I've never been to that area, and the first time I went there was for the Termian event, and now that it's over, and I feel like I'm more experienced as a player. I do want a screenshot of that. It actually looks super nice. How do I actually make it like the option? Um, there was this thing when I try to take a screenshot, it could like, hide the like blur. I knew I did it at one point and I forgot how. Oh my goodness. I know I'm doing this like midway, but I forgot how. What a screen filter. Adjust the clarity, blurs distant view. Pretty sure. No, that's for like regular oh my god the thing followed me you mad owl warrior like when I'm doing this how come I can't see how far hmm How do I fix that? This is why I record stuff as well, so you guys can tell me how to do things. I have no idea what I'm doing, so like I, I wish I could just take a screenshot like that. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know, because probably gonna Google it eventually. I feel like the option reset. I had it. It's always been fine for me and then it triggers me now that I can't figure it out again. There's so many options that I was like, what am I doing? Alright, so this is the Termian Park. Oh my, it looks pretty different now that the event is over. It's actually really cool. That used to be where the giant clam is. It looks different. Well, that's the first time I've seen it, like, without the yeah. thing. Alright, let's head to Olvia and do the dailies over there. I think we can hit another contribution point today at 212. Our next one we have to get is 220 contribution, then we get the Exalted character 6, and that one should be free money.
So what I found was there's actually another quest you could do. You just go all the way to... Oh, it's laggy. Um, go to the top-ish area, and there's a quest where you collect more logs for a said person. So there's one where you collect logs and you get um, planks, which you turn that in. And here's the milk one, that's easy. Make sure to grab both of them. I do actually need the milk. I'm gonna start like cooking a lot for that. I know I do this slower than some others, but it's like, I don't understand how to just spam. All the other rewards you can get by just having a worker on a node except for milk. That's why that one is the most important one to get. Got a new contribution point, excellent. Let's pick up the others before we start uh, chopping stuff. Um, well, let me see, I have my ax over here. Wouldn't it be great if I got a sharp crystal just by uh, doing that? This is pretty much how I do where I get contribution daily. Um, I do the ones in Heidel. Olvia, the easy ones in Velia. Uh, I want to learn how to do the Calpion <laughs> ones because apparently you can get a lot. Right, that one's done. One out of three. I do want bags gloves, but it's like I get that whenever I get it. Though accuracy is pretty good. Oh, I think I forgot to pick up the fur one. That's okay though. We have enough energy to um, get that. I just got to make sure not to collect all the fur ones and wait for the cooldown for the tree to be able to use again, or like chop down. I always forget about this one for some reason. It's like out in the middle, but I just forget about it. I remember when they had the golden backpack event or the golden fish and all that stuff. I missed that. It was actually free money. Despite doing stuff I would normally do on a daily. So we'll uh, collect all of them and then just get it done. Blue means it's done, right? I think. No, blue means in progress, okay. I was like, it's going so slow.
see. Are there actually any bosses? Let me check real quick. Um, the only one in window is Kudum, so I really don't want to go over to Valencia just to get that. I just need to get the like one that looks like French fries. I forgot what it was called. Please give me one time. Hello. I will get it if it's the last thing I do. I hope it just doesn't take me 33 energy to get it cuz that would kind of be upsetting. No. Give me. That quest is... Which one? Um... Oh, get birch timber. Ah, oh, I've never actually done this one before. So, we gotta go find birch as well. A lot of these are just uh, tree chopping. Oh, we got it. Alright, now let's go find some birch. This is a birch tree. The one that requires blood. I think you actually use a lot of those. kind of like chopping trees at this point hoping to uh, get it or not get it but just like get a sharp shard or something like that that would be super nice though look at all those quests that are done I'm just sitting in my inventory all right I actually have no idea what a birch tree looks like in this game like well I do but it looks like every other tree that's not fur okay so birch tree is like one of those thick ones all right Let's go uh, process a little bit. We need two scantlings. Processing at Artisan 5 boys and it still takes this long. So I heard the soft cap is at like 250 or 255 ish. And that's when contribution gets really difficult. So right now we're still in easy mode, I guess you can say. But I'll take it. I'll, I could use all the contribution points I get. Now that that's done, we could just go turn in pretty much everything else. And let's see, our bar right now is. You guys can see it slightly behind the 6 out of 212. Uh, what do I do? That brown horse was Frank. This is terrible. Alright. Did that just like... I was. I looked around. I was like, "Did that Maybe have a woman's voice and a man, or a male body?" It's like, we all have a strong that's actually the first time in any game I've seen that. All right then. I heard. Are you a lucky one, hard sharp? Please? Nope. How about you? Nope. Lucky? Alright, 
Where's the last one? Well, actually, there's three of them. Uh... The third one, get to the best milk. I don't actually remember where I picked that quest up. I think it might have been in Velia somewhere. I don't know why pepper seeds are um, so rare, because I could sell that seed on the market pretty much instantly. So the last one, we just have to go up the stairs, turn the quest in, and we're done. I actually... I went up here once, and then never again. So I kind of just forgot about it. So where is this quest, actually? Stone Tail Ranch, all the way in Medea. Yeah, that's not happening today. <laughs> well, let's get back to Heidel real quick. And we got another box we can open. And that's pretty exciting. I've actually slowly started making uh, Velia my new um, home area. Or not home, but like main storage. Well, not really main storage, but it's going to be used for enhancing and pretty much just upgrading stuff in general. Because there's this thing where if you go negative karma, you can degrade your items. And that's what you really do for like plus 15 items that you want to go to plus 14. Because I'm sure for all of you who play this game already know, but the way enhancing works is the higher the level, the harder it is to... like upgraded to the next tier and 14 to 15 is the um, cheapest one before you start using the expensive hard and sharp stones so you get negative karma and then just get guards to whack you until it degrades pretty much Probably should have followed the auto path. Shortcut. Um, all right, back to Heidel it is. Today we played a lot of horse walking simulator, aka the shift hold SDWF. Still kind of annoyed I forgot how to do the options thing. Ooh, sometimes it does that. It lags and turns my camera around. Is this to clean the chimney lady? Is this your first time on our farm? The node here is connected. <sighs> this is how you get energy according to the live stream. Me, oh my, like that was actually kind of embarrassing. Like when I watched it, it was like. Who are those people? They're actually game managers or something, or they're not just community managers, like they're part of the dev team, and then they said that live. I'm like, it's kind of bad. Maybe you shouldn't have said that, but what's over is over. Sweeping chimneys gives you a lot of energy. How do you get the elephant, by the way? I know it's... I actually have no idea how to get an elephant, and I want one. Yeah. 
Do I have anything I got got to trade by any chance? I have no you idea. To see me. I, I got guess a fish. you're pretty good at sensing where the money is. 2k easy. Let's chop down the street. Maybe we'll get a sharp shard. Not today. <laughs> Every time I chop down some sort of tree, I'm just like, maybe one time I'll get lucky. But uh, yeah, before we do anything, oh my god. Every time I'm in Heidel, I just feel like I'm going to disconnect at any given time. All right, Lauren, there. I got a box. Oh, let's open these dim tree thingies. No, actually, let's open them. Yeah, let's save the best for last. What did I even get? I got a crystal. Why, why did I get a green crystal? That's worthless. When did I get this lantern? I don't remember. <laughs> Is that bad? I know I'm getting more hunter seals though, up 12. More hunter seals, blackstone. It's a lot of blackstones. All right, the big moment. Let's go guys before we wrap up this video. Lucky number today is uh, 14. I know it was like 20 or 17 before and now it's not. We're making it 14. I won't miss it this time. I don't want to see it. I'm looking at the chat. No, oh, we literally got the same thing twice. But, you know, there was this Arca box and the thing behind it. Fuck you, game, I guess. Or was there another one being sold for 3.9 mil? I'm about to buy it real quick. Free sharp. Well, not free, but like. This is a legal business permitted by the head of sold. the League of Merchants. You can trust me. I probably would start buying these up to like 4.5 mil ish, and then after that, it's not really worth it. Well, actually, it probably is. But <laughs> there goes like. 8 mil down the drain just from that. Alright, let's go melt these. So, it's guaranteed 1, and I think that's the max you can get out of these, but... You know, sharp crystals are pretty important. You should do this too. You'll thank me. I didn't really lose much money. If anything... We lost a little bit in terms of total silver, but I value the sharp crystals a little bit more. The sharp shards. So, I think it's worth. You could probably sell the melted gold shards and stuff for if you wanted to actually equalize your money. But overall, that's about it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.